How y'all doing, family, man? It's Dowder. I'm back again. I know it's like the return. Day one fans know I've been gone for like five years. I think it's 2024. Yeah, about five, six years. But you know, I've been thinking like, okay, it's time to make a return. You know, I've been called, been a lot going on. Not with me, cause you know, life's been good, but I just felt, you know, the need to just pass on my message and stuff I learned through these five years on this amazing journey. So the topic for today is gonna be five mistakes that men and women make on the first date. So I got my notes right here so I can stay on top of it. First mistake that men and women make is talking about your ex. As a group, when we're dating, for some reason, we have to trauma dump. I don't know if it's because we have lack of communication, but for some reason we cannot hold a com conversation. So therefore we lead to talking about our ex, men and women. So you may say, hey, my ex did me so wrong. Uh, my boyfriend did me so wrong. My girlfriend did me so wrong. But you know, it's important to keep it brief. If you're gonna talk about your ex, keep it brief. If you're using it for an example, that's a good strategy, but you don't want to go over talking about the past because with your partner that you're dating, it's not going to look well. It's not going to look like you're over your past. It's not going to look like you're trying to build a connection with them, honestly. So I would say heal first, primarily before you even date. That's, you know, an important fact. You have to heal. You have to be over your edge. Like, that's just things you should do before you're, you know, dating. So, mistake number two, both genders made. And this one is crazy because, you know, you live and you learn. And we all learning, so no one is perfect. But it's trying to sell yourself. As a whole, we have to stop trying to sell ourselves. Don't be self-centered, you know. Don't lead with what we think the other person wants. So, if you're a dude, don't lead with... I got a house, I got a car, I got a business. You know, sometimes that stuff sounds good, but we bring in attention that we don't need or want because we're thinking that if we lead with this instead of who we are, we can win a woman over. But in reality, we're not. If we're trying to win a woman over, we should be winning them over with our charm, our self, our morals. They should respect us. So that should be a way better way to lead than trying to sell yourself. Vice versa with a female. If you're a woman, don't say yourself. Don't say, oh, I do this. I make this much money. Sometimes I've heard I've only slept with this amount of men. Like, you don't have to leave with that. Let's not talk about that. Let's keep it to morals, life values, short growth, realistic expectations. Again, I'm not saying my way is perfect, but I'm just just saying five mistakes that I've seen that men and women make mistakes they make when dating or on a first date. Okay. Mistake number three, not attempting to learn a person for who they are, but instead what you want them to be. So it's very important that we build authentic relationships when we're dating. Even if you're not going to be boyfriend or girlfriend this could be a friend so you just want to be authentic you know if this becomes your friend how can this become your friend if you're not authentic that's not going to be right so let's talk about realistic expectations don't build or try to convince this person that you're a millionaire try to lean towards a social media lifestyle keep it authentic you don't have to tell them too much you don't have to act perfect but just keep it authentic you know it's life. It's 2024. No one is perfect. No one. So we just got to keep it authentic. All right. Number four, unrealistic expectations. So everyone has a different meaning for unrealistic expectations. I would say for me, my definition of unrealistic expectations is when, since I'm saying for me, a female thinks someone is perfect or they're trying to go towards a honeymoon hype, you know, when you're dating early. It could be all good and well, but, you know, they don't think about, oh, it could hit the fan. Like, I need to see your true colors. How would you be 
when you're mad because a lot of people are cool when they're good but as soon as they get mad they flip everything goes out the window and they're a completely new person so it's important that you learn that person for who they are authentically and you just move forward and then you know in the honeymoon phase we also can ignore if we're compatible with a person a lot of people ignore people that are not compatible with them and the reason why is because we as a whole men and women we have a bad habit of thinking we can change someone we need to stop that we really do we cannot change someone else it sounds good but in reality they have to change themselves they have to want their change for them so if they don't want them change for themselves sometimes we just have to pick up leave and just walk away before it's too late you know be realistic with yourself and just say if you know this person doesn't match your morals your ethics your work ethic if they don't understand you if everything is always an argument no get out of there quick get out of there quick and for me another big thing with unrealistic expectations is the social media illusion i hate it i hate it females trying to live for social media they think everyone has to be this person whether it's the i want a 50 50 guy or whether i want a guy that takes care of everything or whether i want a big dog it's just social media makes everything too easy to where females think they can take for example author mike and ben and combine them to a person you can't do that Arthur has his own specialties mike has his own specialties and ben has his own specialties they're all unique in their own way so you can't take their relationship and think you can bring that to yours or if they see someone like Lil Durk in india oh my god their relationship goes you don't know what those people have going on in their personal life but here you are fantasizing about their life and the whole time it's a social media illusion like it's not real life social media is fake it's all an image it's all an image so number five goes hand in hand with social media if you're on a date we got to stay off the phone i don't know what it is but when you're not on that phone everything clicks you see what the vibe is you see if you're compatible with a person you see if you know the person can make you laugh person is funny charming if they can you know talk are they relatable do you all connect you find all of those things by not being on your phone but when you're on your phone it looks like you're not interested first of all you're undervaluing the person you're dating there so that's not a good look as well and then also you just don't value the other person's time you know me i love my time i know a lot of people love their time as well that's one thing in life that we can never get back ever so you always want to value someone else's time when they allow you a chance to get their time or allow you a chance or opportunity to be in their space always cherish that moment because you know you can't take it for granted so those are my five mistakes that i think men and women make i'm going to try to do three videos a week starting off i feel like that's the easy target for us to build off of if we can do three a day we can build off of maybe we can get to four a week not said three a day i'm sorry if we can do three a week that's something to build off of then next thing that we can get to four a week next thing that we can get to five who knows how we can go but for right now my plan is to go three times a week look in the bio for description of what we're going to be talking about in reality we're going to be talking about life honestly it's not going to be one thing it's not a bashing women channel it's not a bashing man channel i just want everybody to get better as a whole to me i believe men need women women need men so that's my philosophy so me personally i don't want to dad bash anyone i just want us all to be better and just be the common bridge to connect one another and help us get better in the future so we can be better for each other because we still have a long way to go and if someone don't help us bridge this gap 
we're going to be doomed in the future, man. So, again, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I know I've been going for a while. It's going to be the start of something new. If you're clicking on the page, you're not going to find any old videos. We starting fresh, man. Hey, I love all of y'all. We're going to start fresh. See y'all next time, man. Doubt I'm out.